feels like Logie Nights all over again. And welcome. It's just marvellous to be back here at GTV facing this sea of smiling faces. I love you. This is wonderful. And <laughs> You're marvellous. It looks like a cabaret scene here. And sorry, I just had to get on a table. So that was just a couple of hours ago. I thought I'd just do a repeat performance. Uh, leaping on the table. I hope you are well. I must confess, ladies and gentlemen, we've sort of just flown in. It was a, a rather late night last night. Did you all watch the Logies? Yes! Yeah. Well, you must have because, looking at the figures, the ratings have come through already. Virtually everybody around the country was glued to the television set last night. A wonderful star-studded night at the Crown Casino. But, you know, you know, like all uh, awards uh, nights, speeches are made, the show runs a little late. I remember I was sort of looking around, looking at my watch about 10 o'clock, thinking... You know, at this rate, I reckon we'll be annou announcing the Gold Leggy on Monday at midday. Uh, because it was just running a bit, but it wasn't a superb night. Yeah. It was just a lovely night. And Jerome, how did you like your night? We sat well, together? We did. I, uh, I, I thought it was a fantastic night. I loved it. I, I was a little bit disappointed. I wanted a very pretty certain blonde to pick up the big one at the end. <laughs> no, no. She did! No, Lisa McCune, congratulations, Lisa. A worthy, a worthy winner. A very worthy winner. And in fact, we did ask Lisa to be on the show with us today, but, you know, funnily enough, another network <laughs> takes precedence. Uh, but love the band, by the way, Jerome. Aren't they nice? Beautiful bunch yes. of people. Yes. Very nice, sounding good. They're actually good. head waiters during the day, but... Uh, <laughs> boom, boom. Wake up! <laughs> Roddy Sandlands is too old for this, he really is. <laughs> but anyway, we had a wonderful night, and again, congratulations, Lisa. But, you know, Jeff, as I always said, I never expected to win it. I was just very proud to be nominated, and that's why I decided to wear this simple little frock. <laughs> uh, just a little thing. Uh, you know, you can't let a good frock get away. You've got to give it more than one burn. I always say, if you can't get a gold logie, look like one. Yeah. <laughs> do you look Did you have to do a play on, Jeff? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Kerry Ann, how are you? Well, I'm so glad oh. you brought this, I can tell you. It's funny, I felt I, I should come out to, oh, I like Kerry Ann, I like girls, I like fellas. <laughs> uh, but, uh, because of the champagne, but cheers. cheers. And was... congratulations. Thank you very much. Great Thank night you. and congratulations on the logs, which obviously you have under yes, you. Do you some, want me to help there? Someone stole the top of them, but um, I, got the bo I got the bottom bits. That's good. Mm. Or are they... Oh, I see, okay. We can... Uh... We'll put them down that way. Now, tell, it, tell us all then. Okay, you've done a few of the, uh, the hostings of these, so you must be quite used to it. But do you, does it still fill you with fear and trepidation? Uh, <clears throat> well, do you want me to take the glasses off to, yeah. to answer that? I should. It's rude to have glasses on air, but, but I thought I'll I should. I'll put them back. Put them back. Do you think I should put them back on? <laughs> no, I won't. I'll leave them off. No, but actually, the eyes are not fit too bad. Um, where are we? Sorry, where were we? We you, uh, fear and trepidation. Did you have a, a good of, night? Uh, nervous fear, yes, but good nervous fear. It was like uh, you needed that adrenaline rush and that uncertainty of it all. And uh, because of the nature of the opening, where there was the illusion with me coming up, being there, uh, I couldn't use cards or anything, so I didn't have a fail safe. And I think I was a bit nervy on the opening, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I, I was because I had so much locked in there, and I thought, I hope it comes out. And it came out, fortunately, uh, oh, in, the, in the same order. But um, and as the show went on, you relax a bit more. Mm. Well, thank you so much for lining up after Hey Hey on Saturday doing the uh, show last night. Congratulations on its success. And fantastic with these and for lining up with us today. Ladies and oh, gentlemen, thank you. Daryl Summers. Oh, happy Astro Clear Start. <laughs> We know how to play the game Side by side we stick together To uphold the magpie Now, if you sing any more song, I'll get totally jealous because I'm not allowed to sing on the show. So. <laughs> okay, <laughs>
You're a very keen on singing, Carrie, aren't you? Carrie Ann? I've been known to warble a little bit. I don't do a lot these read days. read a very big spread in the uh, Sunday tissues about you having a karaoke machine at your house. Is that right? <laughs> Was this the article where I'm described as um, um, uh, irrepressibly or revoltingly perky? Was that the one? <laughs> Can you believe? I'm just revoltingly perky and I, you can't kill me with a brick. <laughs> I'm you wouldn't say that about me, Sam. I wouldn't, but the, uh, in fact, you're having on later in the show people who write that stuff about you, aren't you, mm. Bobby? The, the gossip people. Yeah, the gossip people. Bob those, Hart, Bryce Corbett. Yeah, those moral arbiters of good taste who tell us how to live our lives and what to do and what not to do. Those people who have never stepped to the line in any capacity at all but give advice about everything. Would you like for part two, but Eddie McGuire, thank you very thank much, you. Sam Newman and Bob. And uh, Sam will be staying with us for the gossip <laughs> column in the segment. Stay with us. More on Midday After this. Gary, very much indeed. He's the most extraordinary human being. And I think uh, when all the, the glitter and the grandness goes, what I take away is the knowledge that I have such a strong friend in one of the most wonderful people I've ever come across in this business. That was Ruth Cracknell last night, joining me along with Joshua Russell Cross, the meditation guru who guided him through a well-publicised, difficult period. Please welcome the one and only Gary McDonald. Was I was uh, knocking you over with my crop or something. I don't know how you've got a voice. <coughs> it's just catching up on me. A big night. Last night, yeah, yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Hall of Fame. It was really quite spectacular. Yes, it was, uh, it was very... Um, it was wonderful. I was very thrilled. I was very thrilled at, uh, very moved by Ruth's speech. Um, I thought, oh, can't listen to this too much. Oh. And uh, I was very um, thrilled with the response in the room. It was one yeah. of the better speeches, and yours, of course, as well, that I've ever heard in sort of 12 or 14, maybe. Oh, thank you. I was going to say, I thought you were going to say my speech was good, but because <laughs> I was about to say it was written by my son. Really? Mm which I couldn't really plug him on the night uh, because I was uh, talking about, you know, people I've worked with over 25 years, but, uh, or 30 years, actually. But uh, my son uh, just started writing in the last year or so, and I asked him to write some material for me. Um, I had to give a, a talk. I'm a patron of the Anxiety Disorders Foundation. Mm -hmm. And I gave a talk about three years ago that was very funny that I wrote. And I thought, what you have I got to say? And so I said to him, would you help me brush it up a bit? And he gave me these ripper gags. I mean, but they're based on my sort of stories. And he's just, he's just wonderful writer. So they're all old-fashioned, politically correct lefties, but stop taking their lunch money! Thank you. Thank you, TV. Melbourne, as usual, you've just been sensational. But tomorrow on Midday, don't... will too. See you at Midday. Bye. <laughs>and I love that shot at the top, the big round circle just showing off that beautiful shot of the bandstand with Dougie and the ball spot right there. It was just <laughs> superb. Jeffrey, I love that. Very, very nice. There you go, that little spot. <laughs> I gotta say, I, um, I, I, just, I had to just dress, dress down a little bit today. I put the gold number away in mothballs. Uh, Did you? Uh, <laughs> there, there was my gold logie dress. If you can't get a gold logie, look like one. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. 
I, in fact, the reason I wanted to show it to you again today, so many people have been asking me where it came from. I must tell you, and also thank the wonderful Mary Ioannides. Uh, she created this dress, and all that beading that you saw on the front was all done by hand. You know, just literally by hand. I just love the dress, and I hope you did too. So I just wanted to thank Mary Ioannides very much. And you're very sweet, the lady in the front there. Ah. <laughs> no, I love it. I, just, I, said, I didn't expect to win, and congratulations to, uh, to Lisa. She won it, and she's terrific. Anyway, I just did want to wear something more subdued today. <laughs> but, I mean, one of the reasons I also wear it, because I, in fact, saw the nanny in this very jacket the other week. For yourself. I can give you the information, and I hope I can motivate you a little to put it into practice. Hmm. Your background is medicine, Harvard. Where did you sort of depart? Where did I go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Where did it happen in alternative medicine for you? Really, as far back as I can remember, I thought this way. I have a lifelong interest in plants, something I got from my mother that led me to be a botany major at Harvard as an undergraduate. I was always interested in mind-body interactions. When I finished my basic clinical training, I decided that I'd seen enough of that. I wanted to see other ways of doing medicine because I felt that what I had learned did an awful lot of harm. And especially, I hadn't really learned how to prevent illness, which always seemed to me to be the main function of doctors, mm. and when appropriate. Mm. Fascinating. Uh, the book's called Natural Health, National, uh, Natural Medicine. Delighted to talk to you. I know we've learned something. Ladies and gentlemen, please thank on midday our guest, Andrew Weil. Dr. Andrew Weil. Eating in the dining room for hours! Yes, but I served upstairs in the solarium. Why didn't you? <laughs> oh. Get out of my way. Ooh. Oh, oh no. Oh, God, this thing is stuck. How do I stop it? Hold on, I'll get the manual.